So, so you've been candid about breastfeeding. And I've got, I, I'll show some of the pictures that we've got here, which is pictures of social media um, from Ashley about uh, just documenting really how things are going. But the pictures have, and they are beautiful, I think, but they've created a bit of a stir. And, and just describe the stir. What have people said? Do you know what? I was quite surprised by it, mainly that, you know, I shouldn't be showing that off in public. Um, I shouldn't be showing it online that I'm attention seeking. And this kind of really surprised me because, to be honest, like, I've had big boobs for since I was a teenager. And this is the first time that I felt really that I don't have to be ashamed of my breasts. You know, I'm feeding a child. What 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 more amazing thing can you do with breasts than that? And to be honest, like the reality of being a new mom, especially when Tommy's working in the day, is that I barely have time to clean my teeth some days. So the thought of having to put a top on to talk to people online just so that I'm not seen as attention seeking kind of blows my mind. And I think it kind of um, shows why the UK has one of the lowest breastfeeding rates in the world because there is still so much shame and stigma around breastfeeding. And when I've spoken to other mums, you know, they, I, the thought for them of having to breastfeed in public, so never mind online, is one of the reasons why they don't carry on breastfeeding. Um, and, you know, the thought of when life goes back to normal to a whatever extent of having to go into a public loo to feed my child, like it's just not going to happen. So that's why I've decided to do my bit to normalise breastfeeding. I breastfed all four of my children, and um, not recently, obviously. And the thing is that it's a wonderful thing to do. If you can do it, it's the best start you can give your kids. You know, it's, it's on tap. It's the right temperature. I agree we need to encourage women to breastfeed. But equally, there are a lot of women who can't, and they shouldn't feel uh, stigmatized or, or diminished by the fact that they can't feed their babies. But I think we have to think about making breastfeeding, sort of celebrating it for the very fact that it is something intimate and beautiful and lovely, that we don't need to commoditize babies and, and parade them online and say, look at me, look, I can breastfeed. First of all, I think it makes a lot of women who can't breastfeed feel rubbish. Uh, second of all, it, it's, it is, there is a kind of show off element to it because it's saying, look, this is the baby, look, I'm feeding my baby. These babies grow up um, and you know that it's not chip paper anymore things that you post online live forever um, and I can't imagine if I posted a picture of one of my children being breastfed by me and they're now grown up and they saw it they'd absolutely be absolutely horrified so we're not actually even thinking about the baby here we're just thinking about the, celebrating the fact that I can do it I'm breastfeeding and, it, and it's I great can see, I can see Ashley disagrees because I think you're proving why there's so much shame and stigma around breastfeeding. The thought that we'd be horrified to learn that we were breastfed. And look, I've got friends who have newborns who aren't breastfeeding because they couldn't. And so, you know, I'm not showing my journey to make anybody else feel guilty. But boobs have been so hypersexualized. Why is it that we can look at an advert of, you know, someone selling lingerie? And that's fine, but we can't feel comfortable. And it shouldn't be an intimate thing. It's literally feeding. I don't see me having a burger as being intimate. So why is my son feeding intimate? And also, what would happen if now, for example, my son needs to feed? I shouldn't have to sit here and be like, oh, no, what if I have to feed him? This is an intimate moment for me to be doing on TV. He's a baby and he you know, has instinctive needs to eat and he is exclusively breastfeeding. It should be such a normal thing. Yeah, I wonder asked, if our nipples were on our fingernails, okay. would it be still such a bad thing? Uh